Here is a really quick overview and introduction to using PowerPoint for anyone that might need to get going on it in a hurry. So PowerPoint is used mainly for presentations such as lectures, seminars, sometimes it's used in sales, and people want to be able to project their slides, and you've probably seen them do it, and they want to be able to show pictures and things like that, and graphs and text with bullet points. Key things to remember when you're doing PowerPoint is one, if it's not a substitute for lecture notes or anything like that. So please don't jam pack your slides full of information so that you know it becomes too hard to see. Make sure the fonts are a good size, project them, make sure they're right, and don't use lots of different font styles all over the place because it can look messy. Same with different colors for fonts and so on. So here I am in PowerPoint. This is PowerPoint 2010. But it's very similarly in 2007 and 2013 because of the tabs here. But if you're using another version, you'll see that these same things can be found in the menus as well. So it always prompts you with this first slide here, which is your welcome slide. And I'm just going to click in there. And you can see that when I did, it comes up with, if I did introduction to PowerPoint, this is what will be seen. Now, it's got click to add subtitle. If I don't fill any of those boxes in, then when I run the slideshow, you don't see them. So to run the slideshow down here, you've got a little slideshow button and I can click on that. And well, it's filling the whole screen here, but I can assure you if I just move this around so you can see that there is no click to add subtitle there. So I'm just going to press escape to stop my presentation. OK, so I want to put in a new slide. I'm here on my home tab and you can see it says new slide here. If I click on that, it will put in a new slide here. And now it knows that it's not a welcome slide. It's not that very first one. So it's got a title at the top here. You can click to add text here. So I can add a title and I can have here what does power do. Now you can do all sorts of things like highlight it just like you were using Word and you could change the font size here. So I could make it a little bit bigger if I wanted and the beauty is it does kind of preview it. I could bold it and you can do all sorts of things with it. Now normally it's got some sort of theme and it has chosen particular styles. So bear in mind that Microsoft have thought a lot about these. You might disagree perhaps, but if you go into design, you'll see you've got a whole load of themes here that you can choose. And if you click on them, you will get different styles here and they will be reflected in any of the slides. You'll see I've got a list of my slides down the side here. If I click on that one, you'll see it's changed it as well. So you can scroll through other slides and you can change them. You can come back and change them anytime you like. I like to kind of keep them a bit simple. I just feel that it's much better for an audience. They don't have distractions, but don't forget you can always go back and change it. You can see more just here just by clicking on that little arrow there. So that's that little arrow here sort of brings it down as a drop down box and you can see more. I'm not sure I'm keen on that font, but I'm going to keep it. What I really want to show you is how this works. So click to add text. If I click here to do this, it makes slides. It allows you to project them and to get your message across. OK, so that's more or less what it does. So I can see here my different slides and I can go back to home and I could choose to put in another new slide. Now, by clicking on that top part, it automatically generates what them and I could put uh, it's a picture here just as a title and you'll see rather than clicking on the bullet points here you can add in a table a graph a chart rather you could put in smart art graphic you can also insert a picture very popular to put in a picture so I'm just going to click on that and it will do the rest for me so all I need to do is just find a picture so if I choose that one there, desktop.jpg, pop it in. And in the usual way, you'll see it's got these little circles around here. These are the handles that you can change the size. 
and you've got that circle at the top there if you felt like rotating it. Okay, but what if I want to put another one in? Because I've now done that. I don't have that lovely sort of helper there to do that for me. So what I can do is go into Insert, and here I can choose Picture. You can see you can do a screenshot, choose things from a photo album. You can put in shapes. So again, the Picture one, I just click there, choose that, and once again, I can just change the size and position it wherever I like. So once again, back in the inserts, you'll see that you've got shapes. So you could put in things like arrows if you wanted. So if I click here, I can now click and drag to draw an arrow. It's put it in there. There's the Drawing Tools tab has now appeared. And if I click on Format, I can do things like change the color. I'm just randomly choosing them here. So if I choose that, again, you can change the size. You can rotate it round, and you could actually type in here, although it's coming in upside down because I spun it all the way around. Let's put that back the right way because I could have used an arrow that pointed in that direction. Okay, so there's more to it. I will have tutorials on how to go into this in more detail. So with the new slides, you do actually have an option down here in the lower part of the slide. You'll see if I click on it here, you'll see that there are different types you can have. So we've got a title slide that we've already used, title and content. You've got a section header. You've got two content here, title only, completely blank, and so on. So two content, just so you can see it. And sometimes playing around with these will give you a better idea of what they all do. So this has got, I'm um, just going to call this one side by side. And you'll see you could have had bullet points, such as you could have had pros on this side, cons on this side, and then every time you press it, it you could have different bullet points. And then you can just click back on this side. Uh, very clean and tidy. So this is about presentations in PowerPoint and using this particular theme. Don't put too much in. It can get a bit messy. OK, so that's a kind of, if you just needed to do this and sort of get started on it. And you can see all of your slides, just so you know, down at the bottom here, you've got like normal, which is what we're looking at now, which has the list of slides down the side. You've got the slide sorter, and you can see those going across like that. You can double click on one of them, and it takes you back to this view, and then you can make changes to it. You can move them around, change the order by clicking and dragging, and you can see that new line drops in there. On the slide sorter, if I just click there, you can do the same. And in fact, some people might find it easier to do that, to move things around. So I'm just going to go back to the normal view. And what I'm going to do now is you can have your slideshow. Now, unfortunately, I've got this sized a particular way. But if I hit the slideshow button, what does happen is it goes through each slide side one by one. So as I'm clicking, it's going through, and then it takes me through to the end. Sorry that you can't see the whole thing when I'm doing that, but you get the idea. No, it just goes through slide by slide, and it just changes. So what you might want to do to make, liven it up just a little bit is to put in some transitions. And you can do that just by clicking on the Transitions tab, now, if I want the first slide to fade in, I've got my transitions here. I just click on Fade. You get a quick preview, and you can see it faded up. Now, I could apply that to all of them, and then they would all do it. So I've got this Apply to All option. However, you could go through and change them or do whatever you like with them. So there's a Split option, so you could see that. You might need to play around with them. Some effects might not be so obvious. Certain themes are, or from certain slides from one slide to another might be a little bit more obvious. So you've got a whole load here. Once again, I just clicked on this little down arrow here, and you can see more. So maybe we'll just have a bit of fun here. Let, let's do this switch one. OK, so there will be other tutorials, a bit more information on these so that you can actually control the duration. You can see you can do that here. You can make it take longer. So you'll see on a preview. There you go. That's what it does. So I've got a preview button here. 
here's the preview for this one here's the preview for this one you can see it just faded from one to the other so there's quite a lot of them in here it's go it's changing each slide on the mouse click so every time you click the mouse however that also means using the arrow keys as well so if you've got the down or right arrow it will move you forward as well through them which you might find more useful it could be that when you're doing a presentation you've also got a remote clicker and that will do the same thing so on mouse click basically also means using it with the arrows you could actually click here that it changes after a certain period of time but you've got to really rehearse your um, PowerPoint presentation so that you get the timings just right if someone stops you or something goes wrong or you hesitate then your slides could be changing all out of sequence not impossible to do but just do practice something like that so here with this one this second slide here I've got the preview of it changes like that but I might want to do something clever like make these slides these little bullet points here actually come in one by one and again a mouse click or with a clicker or using the arrow keys I can make those go one by one and this comes under the category of animations so you have options here once again you've got your animation you've got this little drop down here please don't do loads of different animations same again for the transition stick to a theme be consistent you'll find it will be distracting for people if you keep changing them so for instance here I'm going to use this fly in one you can see as I hover over it it does it and you can see this one's quite nice this float I quite like this one and it applies it to all of them okay so I'm going to go over to here you can just see it makes it appear you've got the fade and the fly in and you've got a whole load and I could just click on that down arrow again so you've got all sorts of things where they kind of shake and things like that so I need to get this out of the way and if I sort of do that you'll see what it's going to do sort of like grows like that okay and then when you move off they go away you've got the spin one yeah maybe that's getting a bit too much that just gives a little wobble there and you can see these ones so they say so you've got lots to do there but please be careful okay don't go too mad what I'm going to do is I'm, I like the uh, float in one so I'm just going to click on it and that's now there and I could go through and do the same perhaps for these here so you just need to click in the box click on float in this one here will be a different one again so why not let's choose split okay don't forget to save all of these this is your hard work so I'm just going to save it as my first power point and don't forget to practice all of these before you go and do this for the first time also be aware might not be a bad idea if you know where you're doing this or you've got a laptop and you get the chance to plug it in where you're using it use it where you are going to use it if you can if you know what I mean so if, if you're doing this in a lecture theater or a seminar room and you have access to it good idea is to go there and try it out so um, let me just click on my preview here so it would come in like that okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my slideshow here. All too often I see people looking for these things like the slideshow down here or slideshow here and then choosing from beginning and they've got the audience watching and it's just taking too long. Well, if you're on a Windows computer, which is quite often at any of these things, just press the function key F5 at the top and it will start your slideshow. So if I do that F5, there we go and it's doing it so if I click I get all the fancy transitions okay so let's have a look at the slideshow now so I'm just going to click on the slideshow here I could just press the function F5 to do the same thing and you can see here's my PowerPoint presentation and you can see that as I go through I'm using the arrow keys now and you'll see what it's doing and you can also press the spacebar to just move forward Every time I press it or click with the mouse and I'm using all of these or use the arrow key it moves along so any one of those will bring up the bullet points one by one okay and then it can move on you can do all sorts of things you can actually make these pictures fly in and out as well 
If you want to stop at any time, you just press escape. Or when you get to the very last slide anyway, it's the end of the slideshow and you can just click to exit or press any of the keys. So that's how you can get started with PowerPoints.